with my record on the environment, uh, I think all wildlife should vote for me. <laughs> Well, I read that I had 18 write-in votes. You saw so you won the election. You <laughs> swept it. No, I, I missed by about 90-some thousand votes. <laughs> That's a technicality, right? I do want to say, you know, thanks to all the people who wrote in my name and uh, have continued to support me. And I put that on Facebook and I got like 100 and something likes all, you know, immediately. And people saying, oh, I'll come work for you again. <laughs> let's run. Let's run. It really is um, gratifying to hear that people appreciated the way that I served. Hello? Yeah, I'm sitting with her right now. It's Dale Earnhardt Jr. I think he got like one vote for mayor in the writing. <laughs> He's wondering if he can be your mayor pro tem. <laughs> Are you okay with that? Wait, do you want to talk to him? Uh, absolutely. Okay, well, okay. Do you want to talk to her? I'm not playing telephone, Dale. Would you just tell him? <laughs> just tell him. I can't. Sure. Hey there. Uh, well, considering that uh, the write-in candidate didn't really get enough votes to actually be mayor, but if I had, uh, and if you had, uh, considering that you are a person of the people as well, and you're a good listener and you're accessible, uh, I think you'd be a great mayor pro tem. <laughs> we do have to follow the rules. I know, I know, those, you know, those messy rules, but they're there for a reason to make it fair for everyone. Well, you know, just uh, next time you just have to run that writing campaign a little bit, a little bit harder, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> yeah, I know she's sassy. If you can't take it, then just keep making your left turns, okay? Bye. Gosh, amazing. Do you remember that muskrat we saw when we were walking the greenway? Yes. Do you think if that muskrat could vote, would he have written in? Or would he be registered as an independent? Well, I have to tell you, um, with my record on the environment, uh, I think all wildlife should vote for me. <laughs> I kind of agree with that, actually. <laughs> they should. Oh, because I, I really care about our green spaces. And so that muskrat needs a clean home. Um, he's all part of what fits into making our environment work for us and our planet that's becoming more and more overrun by you know, people and pollution and that sort of thing. Just pause hat for a second. You're an official um, boat captain, and I am a concerned citizen because all concerned citizens wear boas and all public officials wear captain's hats. Mayor Roberts, I am sick of the Greenway. We don't need it. That muskrat can go find, like, a condo on the South End. We did a master plan for parks and recreation, and we got input from all over the county. 75% of the people who responded wanted to have a greenway nearby. Every age group can enjoy and take care of you know, and participate in um, what's going on in a greenway. Greenways are centered around streams that feed into the Catawba, which is the source of our drinking water. Plus, a lot of trees that grow in greenways. That adds to the oxygen in the air, so again, it helps clean up the air pollution. I'm a citizen against trees. Okay, well, you know, you can be against trees. You don't have to have any trees in your own yard. One of the things that I have tried to do is to encourage people to be engaged. Because we need their vote. And if you're not registered, you can't even vote. Well, look, in 2016 is when those... Uh those voter restrictions go into place, correct? That's right. And in fact, some people thought this time they had voter ID requirements. Uh, yes, I did hear that too. And I heard that some people didn't go vote because they thought they had to have an ID and they didn't have one. Hey, listen, if you had been in Congress, you had been elected, which you should have been elected to it, we wouldn't have had all these problems, I'm pretty sure. You would have gone in there and said, listen, not only am I a congressperson, I'm also the mayor. Well, I'm not really the because mayor. Because I won a concurrent vote. <laughs> okay, you I'm, taking, I'm taking the hat off because you don't people are going to think that I'm mayor and I'm not mayor. <laughs> it's been so nice just chatting and talking, and um, but it's getting a little late. I mean, we're almost done? I. Oh my gosh, we're just having so much fun. I thought we were just getting started. We're just, I know. I mean, We've only know? just begun. Yeah. I forgot. You like chocolate pudding, right? I do. Mm. Excellent. Wow, this is really, this is pudding. Official Le Jello. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
Whew, was that as good for you as it was for me? <sighs> then follow me on Twitter at Look It's Joanne, friend me on Facebook, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hey Look It's Joanne, so you'll never miss an episode of Pillow Talk. You know you want to. You know, Jennifer does it all. She's a community organizer, an equal rights advocate, and she can rock a boat captain hat. What can't she do? Who knows? I will never really know if that muskrat was registered as an independent or a democrat, but one thing's for sure is that all animals should vote for Jennifer Roberts. I thought we were just getting started.